This is our beautiful field of broccoli. So we generally don't have any pest problems with broccoli, but what we have had a problem with on our original 15 acres is a fungus, a disease called club root. The fungus invades the roots and then the plants, just as they're coming into their prime, suddenly wilt and die because their roots can't pull in any water or nutrients. And that is heartbreaking. It happened to us last year and we had the same number of plants in the field. That makes us really sad but it also makes all of the customers sad because who doesn't love broccoli and cauliflower? We do grow organically, even though we're not certified organic, and there are really no organic ways to control a fungus infestation like that. Conventional farmers will use heavy doses of fungicides, or they will fumigate their soil, which kills everything in the soil, and that's a short-term fix because eventually it all comes back. What we did this year is we asked our neighbor, who has never planted brassicas on his property, if we could use a part of his acreage and we put all of our brassicas over here and we planted pasture for our cows over there. The club root fungus can live in the soil for seven years. It needs a brassica as a host. So as long as we keep all the brassicas off of that ground, theoretically, we should be able to plant again in seven years. That's a long wait. We start transplants in the spring and the transplants will grow in the greenhouse for four to six weeks and then we put them out in the field and they probably take another 50 to 60 days to actually produce that initial crown. Commercially broccoli is just planted and the crowns are harvested and then it's done. But for us, broccoli takes a lot of time and a lot of real estate for the number of people that we have to feed. So we need to get as much mileage out of it as we can. And that's why we choose the varieties that we do. If we have 200 families in our CSA, that means we probably need 600 plants, plus whatever we want to use for market and for insurance. It's probably a half acre of broccoli plants. And at the same time, we try and do a half acre of cauliflower plants. That's, that's a lot of plants. The variety of broccoli that we plant makes a small crown and then the nice thing about it is that it will make successive crops of side shoots for several weeks. In this case we've been picking for six weeks so we're getting a lot of harvest out of these plants. So after we pick the main crown which is on top here then they'll make two or three more flushes of little tiny crowns so these are called side shoots. So this one we would probably pick next week and then we could pick this one in two weeks and there might even be a third flush that comes. Any of the side shoots that we don't pick will eventually bloom because that's what broccoli is. It is the flower of a brassica plant. These are all flower buds. Even though when we eat them they're green and they don't look like a flower, they are flower buds. And in a week or two they will bloom like this and that's when they're the tastiest for the bugs. While I would like to harvest more broccoli from this section, the honeybees right now are loving this. There's nothing else blooming and they're able to get a last crop of honey before fall.